Hello guys, good morning. Well, it's been a while since my last video here. The reason is simple. I've been traveling a lot lately to visit my family. It took me eight flights to fly to see almost all of them. So it was a little bit of intense, rewarding, but it also took me some time to catch up with my life here in New York City when I came back. And just now I'm getting back to my some sort of routine here and um, yoga class on a Monday morning. It's like my best part of this routine. The best way to start a week for me personally to wake up super early, get out straight away and enjoy my walk to my favorite yoga studio for a nice morning stretch. And on my way, watching how the city is slowly waking up, how beautiful morning light reflects on the buildings and on the trees in the park, and there are a lot of cute dogs around. Well, you just saw some clips of it. Early morning in New York is simply the best. And speaking about yoga classes, I think I'm gonna to share uh, my favorite yoga studios now because some of uh, your lovely people ask me about it after my last uh, YouTube vlog. So I'm obviously not an expert. I haven't uh, visited all of them, but I already have my top list, my personal top ones. My favorite one right now is Humming Puppy, the one that I went uh, this morning, five reasons. First one, it's beautiful. I love their design. Always appreciate when the yoga studios uh, also is very beautiful. Second, uh, the yoga studio itself is very big and spacious. Uh, they have like predefined layout for yoga mats uh, with like good space between them. And also each row of yoga mats are on slightly different levels. Well, it's probably the most important thing for me. I don't like when uh, yoga classes are too crowded and people are too close to each other and you don't don't have enough space to do your yoga moves. Third one, there is no need to bring your own mat or rent one. They have it for you. Super convenient in most of the cases. Their class is not hot but warm. They heated up the studio up to 80 Fahrenheit, which still warm enough to make you a little bit more stretchy early on in the class. And it also doesn't make you as gross as a proper hot yoga class. And uh, at least I personally uh, feel like I can uh, meet with the friends afterwards or run some errands in the city. And I pour a couple of different teas to enjoy after the class. Ideal. For the proper hot yoga class, I like to go to Fierce Grace uh, Studio in Nomad. Now they heated up space up to 90, 95 Fahrenheit. So it's really, really hot one. The studio as well is very spacious with a big panoramic windows and very beautiful classic New York City streets view. And it's located in historical building. The hallway is super, super beautiful, but you need to bring your own mat or rent one. For the standard yoga classes with like normal room temperature, I would say I like to go to yoga space studio, the one which is uh, in Green Point, very beautiful with a big window, beautiful morning light and cute little green oasis there. I like the sculpt classes for like more strength yoga workout and yoga mats are there, no need to carry your own. So I would say these are my top three yoga studios in New York City. And if you practice yoga in New York City, please leave your favorite one in the comments down below. I would love to check new places and also your favorite uh, Pilates studios with reformer machines. I tried Body Rock and Solid Core. The second one is a little bit too hectic for me personally, difficult to follow. Body Rock is better. I managed to follow the instruction from the class number one, plus it's so effective in terms 
of building the strength and the studio is i would say more spacious and better design as well in terms of the how mirror are located in the studio out of these two i would choose the body rock but i'm so curious to check other places so if you have the one that you would like to recommend please leave them in the comments below and i book all of my classes through class pass super convenient and the best way to save your money on workouts not sponsored whatsoever just a genuine advice and by the way my referral link are gonna be in the description if you would like to use it and i think in this case we both are gonna get some bonus points uh, to book the next class so it's there if you need it and i think that's it for today see you beginning of the summer already and I actually completely worn out all of my summer basics like summer sandals and summer sneakers so we need to find a new elegant friends for this summer and we live in 2024 so we need elegant and comfortable Ta -da! black Mary Jane ballerinas a sculptural square toe super soft leather i personally really like that they don't have any kind of golden or silver details just this elastic band for me personally it's like the most modern the most stylish version of mary jane and i went for one size bigger actually because uh, this part of the shoes are kind of narrow and i personally prefer to give my toes a little bit of more space but thanks to this band plus they are kind of narrow silhouette they still sit on my feet perfectly 
not lose at all. Love that we still have this uh, ballerina shoe trend is going on. It's such a classy, elegant, comfy and feminine shoes and I'm all for it. They're gonna work so nicely with a short summer dress and with denim shorts and with jeans, long or short one. Oh, I just love them already. So happy I got one for myself finally. Okay, now summer sneakers. There is a chance that in the future I'm gonna to regret my color of choice because it's not the classic one, not white, not black, and not the beige one, but ta-da! This beautiful light blue color. Okay, my logic is that this color is actually gonna work uh, well with uh, black and white, obviously, but also with navy and uh, with like classic uh, dark blue denim as well. And I have a lot of this in my wardrobe, so I hope I gonna get a lot of wear of them because I just love, love this color. And actually, I think I like uh, specials, specials the best out of all adidas models like sambas gazelles and specials because they have like the softest insole and i also like the color of the sole in this model and i actually sold my uh, green sambas just recently just because i went too big with the sizing to be honest and it could be a little bit confusing because it's european brand so i would recommend uh, to choose your size based on their uh, European numbers first. Third one. Well, it might look like a lot and I personally prefer to make like one purchase per month, but this time I really needed a new sandals plus I love this Mary Jane so much and Adidas is technically just a replacement because I sold my Adidas Sambas very successfully and all of these brands are sustainable so I still feel good about my shopping behavior. So sandals. <laughs> I love reformation slogan or catch line. Last summer I wear a lot my uh, Javianas flip-flops. I really like how they visually look on my feet and how they go with all of my summer dresses and all other summer outfits. But you know, they're still flip-flops, the piece of rubber, so I really want to have like proper sandals for more formal occasions. And ta-da! Just look at this. Simplicity and elegance. Flat heel, ankle security, classic, Napa leather, soft and so like super super cushiony. I count on this for extra comfortable feeling. First impression is good. I really hope they're gonna be as comfortable as my beloved uh, Javianas, which by the way is gonna be very trendy this summer again, I believe. But I'm gonna use these cute guys for more elegant and formal occasions. So these are my purchases of the month, the month of May, and I went for black color for the most classic shoes because uh, it's the most versatile one and I'm first of all building like my elegant capsule for my summer wardrobe right now and uh, it's so easy to build like stylish uh, look with black shoes and to make your look feel complete thanks to all of this uh, sandwich method and so on and so on and by the way i got another accessory in black color which will go so well with my black shoes right now uh, and which i'm gonna wear a lot during the summer it's from totem it's sunglasses i found them two three months ago uh, in march actually my previous sunglasses from celine served me for at least seven years and are falling pieces at least for the last two summers already and i had a, such a difficult time to find a new one so when i saw this one and when i saw that they really look nice on me i was so so happy and let's appreciate the packaging for a moment i love totem 
packaging always so thoughtful so there is like a soft case for sunglasses here as well which is obviously very handy and useful Ta-da! and this is the glasses big lenses good coverage which is actually very very practical and this 80s vibe perfect to give a directional age to everyday look these sunglasses was my purchase of march a little catch up since i haven't vlogged for a little while well i talk too much today i think it's already dinner time so i need to go In the sun. weekend ride with some cardio at the gym and as someone who is not a big fan of the gym to be honest it's my least favorite way to exercise i have to admit on a very hot day i am grateful we have one in our apartment complex And the main point in our weekend agenda is a getaway from New York City. This time it's an architectural day trip to New Canaan in Connecticut. And I'm so excited to finally visit. Yes, the glass house by Philip Johnson. And after that, we headed to Grace Farms for a delicious lunch and relaxing afternoon. I love this itinerary. It's the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of New York City. Maybe I will film and comment more next time and make another video about it. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> but for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next New York video. Meanwhile, please take a good care of yourself and bisous bisous.